Michael Scott. I'm the regional manager of Dunder Mifflin. They say I'm the best boss ever. Don't take my word for it. This is my mug. Explains it very well. Bought it at Spencer Gifts. I'm Dwight Kurt Schrute, the third uh, proprietor of my very own beet farm. I'm a lover of martial arts and I'm a fellow salesman here at Dunder Mifflin. Uh, Andy Bernard, uh, sales. Uh, graduated from Cornell. Never heard of it. Uh, sang in the a cappella group, Here Comes the Treble. Kind of a big deal. Yeah. So why don't I show you where the magic happens? Michael! Michael! What? Hello, Matt. I'm the assistant regional manager. You're not the assistant, I'm the assistant regional manager. You're the assistant to the regional manager. The assistant and the sales manager. manager. No. Done Incorrect. Done. Do I get to work? Yeah. I can't deal with this. We're going to show you around. We sit down for lunch talk to so here it's the Nard Dog, Andy Bernard. Right Cornell. Cornell grad. He's a singer. Great salesman. Great, great for uh, office morale. And, uh, and we love having him here. I also make a great peanut butter jelly. We don't care about that. We're gonna keep going. Yeah. I mean, All right. I you some paper. Hope you like it so far. Let's sit going down over to Jim. Sit down for lunch. We'll work Jim. Out. Jim, my man, best bun in the office, right? Well, uh, yeah, yeah. we're gonna hang that up. That was the most important sale of the year. Sales aren't everything in business, Jim. You gotta learn that. I started taking karate this weekend. I'm loving it. Good I'm stuff. Jim. I'm um, in sales here, and um, my job is to talk to clients about. Um, paper and see if they could buy it. I'm boring myself talking about this. So we're going to take you over to our accounting department. There are two numbers, guys. we got Oscar Martinez hey. and Kevin Malone. How's work going so far today, guys? The vending machine is broken. Alright, we'll, we'll fix that for you, Kevin. I'm Oscar Martinez. I'm an accountant. I've always been good with numbers, so it just always worked out like that, you know. So now we're going to take you to the annex. This is my main man, Ryan. He's the temp. First day on, first day on the job. Oh, Mike, Michael, I'm going to actually have to ask you to leave. I'm pretty busy right now, you know? It's your first day. So can you just get the camera out Well, uh, we'll, we'll be back. We're going to hang out. All right? Nope. See you later on the game. I'm Ryan. I'm the temp. You know, first day here. Don't have much to say. Now we're going to take you over to Creed. This is uh, Creed, Creed Hi, Bratton. I'm Creed Bratton. Yep, that's uh, Creed for you. No! Jesus! God! No! Stop! Hi, my... <sighs> Toby, just, just sit down. No one likes you. God. So today's basically a normal day at the uh, Scranton branch here at Dunder Mifflin. Whoa, Bye, Michael. Where are you guys going? We're about to go on a sales call. Can I come? Of course you can come, Michael. No. I, think, I think we're fine. Alright, well, uh, Jim, best of luck. You're gonna kill it, bud. Good luck. Bye, Michael. Yo, why'd you in the back seat? The driver always protects his side, so the seat behind the driver is the same seat of the car. Everyone knows that. Yeah, whatever. Do that thing? Yes. Tuna! Where's my phone? Don't know what you're talking about. Damn it, Tuna! You know, you always pull this with Dwight, but you can't Hey guys, it. as the assistant regional manager here Assistant to the regional manager. As assistant to the regional That's manager right. here at Dunder I have the authority to stop you guys in your tracks. You both have to get back to work. Really good pasta. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like Superman. I saved myself from choking. Yeah. 
Come on, Stu. Don't be grumpy, Stu. Come on, Daddy. Oh, uh, what's up? What's up, buddy? I don't, I don't know you talk about Stu. Like, Stu. Like, just, just a friend. I need to quit this job. All right, everyone, listen up. Chip, eyes on me. Michael's away at lunch right now, which obviously means I am in charge. A couple ground rules, if you disobey me, you will not have access to my beef farm for an entire month. Why are you in, in charge? Yeah, Dwight, why are you in charge? How much Cornell? <laughs> whoa, you can't whoa, have whoa. that. You can't have that in the office. If you aren't so stupid, Jim, you would know I have multiple firearms around the office, as well as switchblades. So you better keep your mouth shut. Dwight, you can come in now. Right here, Michael. What are you doing? I was here. I'm always ready. All right, well, uh, don't do that ever again. Also, I wanted to call you in because I'm getting anonymous complaint calls from every employee in the office saying that you have- Is this about the weaponry around yeah, the office? It is. Let me stop you right there. All right, I can assure you these weapons are in safe hands. I'm a licensed deputy in the state of Pennsylvania. So, you don't, don't have to worry about it. You're a licensed deputy, but you, you can't put weaponry but in Michael, the But Michael, office. but Michael, I'm also the assistant regional manager here. To the regional manager, and this, this meeting is done. Out of here. I'm just doing my job. Alright, everyone, thank you for coming. I had to call this meeting because it was in the wake of Kevin choking on his noodles earlier. So uh, I brought in Rick for some CPR training. Hi guys, my name is Rick, and today I'll be giving you guys a class on CPR. Hey, Rick. Okay, the first thing is, when you're giving CPR, always think of staying alive by the Bee Gees, you know. Staying alive, staying alive, just like that, guys. All right, well, uh, I love this song, so I'll go first. Of course, Michael. If he has no arms or legs, why do we have to save him? Imbecile. It's a dumb one, Kevin. Anyway, norms are like this basically how you live, so why are you even talking? Uh, anyway. Wait, I know you. You were in the parking lot earlier. Uh, yes I was. Well, let's get back to uh, staying alive. Mike, why don't you retract it? I got you. I love this song. At first I was afraid. I was petrified. Uh, Michael, that's the wrong part of the song. Oh. I'll show you guys just for now. Ah, 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 <laughs> staying alive. Oh, okay. There you go, give it a try. Here we go. Uh, 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 stay, stay alive. alive. Stay alive. You can't tell me I'm out of line. You know I'm a woman. No time to talk. No time to talk. I've been kicked to the ground since I was born. Uh, 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 stay alive. Stay alive. Uh, 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 stay alive. Uh, 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 stay alive. Uh, 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 stay alive. Guys. Guys. Oh, guys. He has the head in his hands. No one thought to call 911, and no one came over to assist him. You lost him, he's dead. You failed lesson number one. What do we do now? I know what to do. Check for an organ donor card. If he has one, we only have five minutes to harvest. Dwight! You know, I'm not really sure if I work here anymore. I haven't got paid in three years. <laughs>